I do what I do um, because I, I, mean, I believe in young people. I work, my, my work is around um, supporting young people to lead the best lives and the brightest futures that they can. I think my journey has been um, up and down, definitely. I think I came not really knowing what to expect. Um, I was a little bit anxious, a little bit of imposter syndrome. I'm not quite sure if I was ready um, to be here. Um, and I think I've gone through a growth in confidence and have met some really incredible people who've inspired me personally and professionally um, and just had a real range of experiences that I don't think I, would, I wouldn't normally have the opportunity to have. So the challenge that I had brought to the Academy I actually thought was really unique to me um, and I saw it as quite a sticky challenge with not a very easy solution and one of the things I've really gained is hearing at least five or six other people talk about almost exactly the same challenge so that reassurance in knowing that it's not just me so if I'm thinking about outcomes for me as an individual I think the first one would be around confidence and belief in myself as a leader um, and everything that comes with that starting to to kind of own that that space and and think about things that I can implement on Monday when I go back um, about, yes, yeah, perhaps that's an approach with people that I line manage or things, a bit more clarity about what I think I can offer and where, um, where I, what I need to do for that. I think it's a big piece around um, influencing and thinking about um, my role in the sector, not just in the organisation. That's been a big um, sort of leap for me.